going to talk about how it came to be and how I came involved in it. So before we move on to the rest of us, essentially um, at a conference, myself and Julie started talking about the environment of English for academic purposes and kind of the network available uh, for those involved in EAP. And while we have ELC Ireland, there wasn't anything uh, quite specific to EAP. So we decided to kind of create that organization. And that took place about six months ago, and we started the organization three months ago, and it's taken off. So I'm going to focus kind of on what we've done and how technology has actually helped us build the organization. Um, Am I doing this first? Okay. All right. So, um, essentially, we came to come up with a couple of aims, first of all. So, we wanted to create a community for those involved in academic English or academic skills in Ireland, in any capacity. Um, and also to bridge the gap between research and practice, give space or the platform uh, to share perspectives and experiences, and to share best practices and research. So we took a grassroots approach um, and we held meetings in different areas. We went to Cork, uh, Limerick, Galway, Dublin, and we had about 40 to 50 uh, EAP professionals come. So researchers, teachers, um, DOSs, etc., all came together. Uh, and we did mind mapping to kind of guess uh, the perspectives of everyone. And that was how we decided to take the direction of the organization. Um, rather than us kind of saying this is what we're going to do and take it that way. We wanted it to come from those who were involved. Um, and then we had a volunteer committee and we actually had our first committee meeting yesterday <coughs> in Cork and it was amazing and Chris Skyped in um, which was great so we used technology there um, to kind of bring everyone together, even if you couldn't physically travel. And um, we're actually going to take the ELC Ireland approach from now on and uh, do committee meetings in different cities and then combine kind of the notes and the minutes. So the mind mapping results, we went and we said, what are you satisfied with uh, in terms of EAP in Ireland? This was the most difficult question. Uh, as most people said, nothing. Uh, and we forced them to come up with good things about EAP in Ireland uh, and what needs to be changed and developed and then how could it be developed. So instead of just sitting there and complaining essentially, uh, actually coming up with steps that we could take to develop. So for question one, uh, everyone was saying uh, growth potential, the caliber of the professionals, so again, as ELC Ireland does, um, recognizing just the expertise uh, of the professionals. Collaboration. So the initial meetings, the committee meeting, and then we've also started a shared resource database on Google Drive. So if you have permission to upload materials or lesson plans, you pop it onto the Google Drive and it's shared with everyone who's teaching EAP or academic English in Ireland. Um, so we have various institutions, so higher education, private institutions, other organizations, and individuals. Um, so we have a lovely picture here. Mm -hmm. And if you recognize this guy here. No. Um, <laughs> You'll know poster up somewhere. Yeah. No. <laughs> So this is just some of our images from the mind mapping and the initial meetings um, to show the variety of people. And this is our shared resource drive. So if anyone is interested, you can shoot us an email um, and we can add you to the drive. And so visibility, so we have Facebook, Twitter, websites, and then through Twitter, we actually got picked up by Bali in the UK with, who asked us to write a newsletter um, we've been speaking at different places and discussed sponsorship and funding with different places as well. Um, let's see, so this is our lovely newsletter in Bali. Uh, so focusing on the technology aspect, this is what really surprised us. Um, neither Julie nor myself had really experience with 
how quickly things on social media get picked up. Um, in less than one month, our, uh, we have 686 plus views on websites and about 100 users on the, on the Facebook group, which is what our initial platform was. Um, and then on Twitter, we have 93, well, we currently have 93 followers. Um, again, this is all basically in less than a month, which uh, once we got onto Twitter, that's where people started picking up. Um, so all of you guys tweeting. It was something that's really useful, I think, for schools and for professionals, and something that I've never had experience in before. Um, okay, so this is our website where we place news, events, postings, etc. Um, just a little where people are looking from. And our Twitter there. And then our long-term aims. Um, so these were actually refined yesterday, plus basically annual conferences, um, regular CPD and training around Ireland for EAP specific. Um, creating local EAP reading groups and initiatives, setting up a journal for EAP, um, creating a fam framework, uh, promoting EAP action research, which I know that CES does a lot of, um, and there's groups for action research throughout Ireland. Um, and creating an accreditation body for EAP, um, and then collaborating with institutions. And by institutions, not just higher education, but also all of the, the private institutions that are aiming to bring their students into higher education. So that would be general English schools that are looking towards IELTS or EAP. Uh, that would be pathway programs, pre-master's programs, higher education, etc. cetera. Um, that's basically all I have, so 